Well, good day, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about PHP 7 constants. I have already shown you how you can declare variables, how you can manipulate and change them. And constants are very similar to variables unless they cannot be changed. And this can be very helpful and also security enhancement for your program. Let's get started. Alrighty. So, um, let's see the next slide before we go on. There is a keyword in PHP that is called define. So, the, well, the constant cannot be changed and by convention they are declared in uppercase and they use the keyword define. Alrighty. So, let us declare a constant here with define. Then first of all, you put the name of the constant. In this case, let's use pi. You have to put this between those signs. Then a comma and then the value. So pi is 3.14 float uh, or double, okay? Semicolon, here we go. And when you want to echo out the constant, also you do not use a dollar sign. Exactly like when you declare it you don't use the dollar sign, that's the difference, okay? So you just say echo out pi, then you refresh, and here we go, we have 3.14. So, why would you do that? Well, for example, if you were to connect to a database, um, for example, with this um, type of code here, with this snippet, the host, the user, the password, this is not going to change most likely in your program. So if you can change this because it is a variable, this might cause security issues because intruders might want to change these. And well, in this case, obviously, it's just localhost and my user. But for example, if you are a user with no privileges and it's stored in a variable, people or hackers, they could change the variable to root and access the database as the root user. And you don't want that. So it's a highly recommended security issue and so you should always define um well the like the database user and then oh i don't know like test user or whatever okay but you should always use a database connection with constants like so Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can use this constant in a function. We have not yet covered function. That these are pieces of code that have several different, well, functions, and you can just call them. So you do not always have to print the whole code. No worries, we'll talk about this later. Just for now, bear in mind that we will use the variable, uh, the variable, so the constant pi. Alrighty, so function. This is how you create a function. You can put the public keyword. In this case, well, of course, it's public for us because we use it in the same file and it's pretty pretty obvious what, what we do here. So function, the name, um, we can call it circle. It takes a value. In this case, it takes the value radius which does not exist yet, but it will soon. And then we want to echo out, well, pi times radius square, which is the surface of a circle, okay? So it echoes out pi times radius times radius. Okay, so if you want to call this function, you just write the name circle and parentheses semicolon now this will throw an error why because um there is no variable passed it needs a variable called radius so you absolutely have have to pass an argument here okay so what do we do it says too few arguments to function circle zero passed on line 10 and exactly one expected. So the radius of the circle, let's say is two centimeters, save and, oh, sorry, 
I did not comment out this here and obviously this causes bugs now. Here we go, it's 12.5. I mean, you can you, you can test it, so it's 2 times 2, it's 4, 4 times 3 is 12 and something, so that's about right, okay? And, well, you cannot change the constant pi. Well, this is just the important thing to take away here, that constants stay the same above everything and they are not changeable, but they can be used. Well, that's, that's it for today. Short lecture. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next tutorial.